Welcome back to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. I'm excited to bring you this one. I'm calling it One Acre Drive Up Land, $999. So you can see the little price I've made over here, $999. Bucks. There's a road coming up. Looks like I'm sitting in the middle of the street. I better watch for cars, right? Um, there's a power line over here. So there's a power pole. There's neighboring houses using the power line. The power line goes to, looks like about the corner where the property is. There's a property that's... Uh, we can see a property kind of kitty corner to it. I can't get street view right in front of this one, but uh, I pulled up floodplain maps and it's not in the floodplain, at least the official floodplain. And uh, I'm asking 999 bucks since one acre. I thought one acre property, I could sell it for 999 bucks and uh, someone's gonna take off of this thing. So let's take a look at it. It's in Dallas County, Arkansas. I got this map going on and this is ruralvacantland.com. So you can go to ruralvacantland.com and play with this map. There's a link down in the description below of this video to go back to my website. This one's my name, my phone number, my information on there. So feel free to call me and ask questions. And um, yeah, so here's the property right up here. We got, uh, you know, we got this neighbor house over here. I think we can look at that. We can look at the ones over here. I think we might be able to look at the ones over there, but I can't. The street go, looks like, I mean, looking at the satellite view, it looks like the street goes up in front of the house, but it's not. It's like somebody parked in the street up here and the, the, the Google guy, and when he was taking pictures, he just stopped and turned around. He didn't get to go all the way down here. Um, so if we take the street view and drop it, it might be off the screen of hair. We'll drop it on the next street over. And um, I thought this one was pretty entertaining. I like this house here. It's got these golden lions like going right right at the end of the driveway uh looks like something my wife would pick out like she she'd have fun with something like that i don't know if she'd be serious or joking with it but you know it'd be a fun one um so there's a couple different statues like this uh i think that's a i think it's a kangaroo and they got a fountain in the front yard and i'm sure they're great people and in the back side of their property over there would be this property that we got so the back end of their lot in the back corner, the back corner of this lot would uh, would tag up to the lot that I've got up for sale. And if we look around the neighborhood, I mean, they've got power lines coming in here, but I think the power lines you'd use for the other lot on the other side would come in from the other way, from the next street over. Just this whole neighborhood's got power lines. This house, when the Google Street guy went by, it looks like it's pretty new. Like, they just planted the bushes. They just planted the house. I mean, they just put it in. It's got a nice, brand-new, modern, metal-looking roof. And... Uh, I mean, it looks like they just ordered out a catalog and they got it delivered. It looks like it just got there. They've got the swing set going on for the kids and they've got toys in the yard for the kids. And it looks like they just put this house in, put the driveway in and they're running with it. So that's that's cool. That's fun to see. So you could go do something like this on your property if you really wanted to. I mean, there's a lot of different options you could do in the neighborhood. This is just one of them. So it looks like a newer house just went in whenever this street view was taken. And um, so let's uh, let's bounce out of this part of it so that was over here if i zoom out a little bit that was over here like so we were just on this street up here looking around at these houses on either side over this that was the one with the red roof and that was the one with the lions in the driveway and then to the back side of it is our property over here so it's one acre property if we go up and around and down we get to the to the property so i think there's street view that goes part way down but it doesn't go all the way so we can see the street that we're on this is where we would come from if you were driving in it's got like a you know a street sign and stuff up there and looks like it's got some trash cans out here maybe the kind of trash cans you could still burn your trash in if you wanted this shows a mo mobile home here it looks like they're blocked up and they didn't even skirt it so i think it's you know you could do mobile homes in these properties and doesn't even look like you have to skirt them. I, I would think you probably still got to wrap the bottom so you can't see the tires under there. Usually regulations would want you to do that, but there might not be any regulations here. I mean, I just never got around to it. This is a pretty ugly house here. It looks like it's got like three different uh, add-ons or something put together. Um, that's not going to go in HGTV, but I'm sure it's habitable and livable and you go make it happen. And these are just kinds of things that the neighbors built. I mean, you could go build your own place and go make it happen, whatever you want to do over here, right? When you got neighbors like that. Um, so here's the driveway. The driveway would go back up there. You could see where this truck looks like they just parked in the middle of the road. But if you kept going, it looks like that's where the property would be. So there's a power line going back there. And um, so it would be up there on your, if you're looking at this on the screen, it'd be on your left. Um, be on 
the way I'm looking at it would be on my right. But the So for you, it would be on your left. You just go up that way and go take a look at the property. There's GPS coordinates on the website. So if we get out of this map and we go down here, there's GPS coordinates. So hit the GPS coordinates up here. It'll take you to the property. There's a Buy It Now button on here if you want to go for it. Go there, take a look at it, make sure it's good. Click this Buy It Now button while you're standing on the property. Click on it on your phone and start filling this out. Say, you know, title, I want to own this thing as, put your name in there, your tax address in there, and how do I contact you if I have any questions, comments, whatever, and I'll, uh, I'll get this thing deeded over to you. Um, there's a little disclaimer down here on the bottom that says uh, it may take up to two months to get this deeded into your name. I'll do it as fast as I can. Uh, a couple weeks have already gone by that timeline. Um, there's just a little, there's a timeline at the end where the people that lost this property for not paying the taxes could come back and still pay the taxes in the last second before I deed it over to you. Um, so I'm giving them that window. If you're the person who used to own this before, go pay your taxes, go pay it off and I'll get refunded on it. And if somebody else bought this property from me in the meantime, I'll refund them and try to set them up with, with another property, other property, good properties, get them a good deal one way or the other, money back or other land, whatever they want. So here's property tax. I mean, they just failed to pay the tax on this thing. It was $4.52 a year taxes. Like, how do you not pay that? They're probably dead or in jail or something. I'm, I mean, I really doubt they come back and pay the taxes. Um, well, here's Walmart in the background. Uh, that's just 10 minute drive over the other side of town. Here's a high school. It's not very far away. It's eight minutes away. You could probably ride your bike over there. Um, post office, five minutes away. It's even closer. There's a there's a hospital, it's just seven minutes away. Um, in case you're playing with a chainsaw while you're chopping trees down to get your new home in there. I mean, you make a little mistake, chainsaw is real, or, you know, the hospital's pretty close. There's a gas station to go get some gas for your chainsaw. That's just like seven minutes away. No, but really, this property's just sitting there. Nobody's using it. And um, nobody's taking care of it. And if you're out there and you wanna go make one of these things happen, this might be your property. So take a look at it. Let me know. Let me know if I can help. Um, and uh, yeah, let's make it happen. It's Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. I'll keep showing you other properties along the way. See you in the next one. Bye.